Do you get a sense like Joy does that actually Tory MPs are starting to rally behind the Prime Minister tonight? Well, uh, good evening, Dan um, and and Joy. Um, Today was one of the most bizarre days I think I've had (laughs) in my entire political career. It started with a very uh, much uh, bland, summarised version, a short summary of Sue Gray's report. It then moved into the House of Commons, and it then moved into a more private session of the 22. Um, And I agree with Joy. Um, I've not always been um, uncritical of the Prime Minister, but I actually think uh, after today, the Prime Minister has brought himself a little bit of breathing space within the party, which is extraordinary. But he has this sort of Teflon quality. And the next question is, you're going to say to me, what's going to happen next? I think what will happen next is that the Metropolitan Police are going to take a little while to conclude their investigations, despite the promises of Number 10 that they're going to publish the Sue Gray report in full. I think that's going to take some weeks. And I think the next really crunch point will come when we get the local government elections in May. But I think, as the Prime Minister says, what we need to be doing now is getting on the really important issues of governing the country, the cost of living increases, Ukraine, how we sort out the backlog in the National Health Service. These are the really important things that the Prime Minister now needs to turn turn his attention. 